everyone. My name is Lauri Alha and welcome to view the demonstration of our Network as Code solution. In this demonstration I'm going to give a deeper look what Network as Code enables, why it's important and where it can be utilized. Specifically I refer to the three letter C's of this solution. The first C is capabilities. We will discuss more the kinds of capabilities that are inherited within our modern 5G era networks and why they could be so powerful to applications. The second C is complexity. We will review the complexity inherent within these networks and why it is necessary and important for a solution like Network as Code to simplify that complexity. And the third C is commerce and monetization. How exactly can the participants in this ecosystem monetize their investment and make commercial benefit of the solution? For this demonstration, I'm specifically going to choose P2P industrial application use case which is based on a drone inspection service. To outline the use case, we have a company which is providing drone inspection services for other downstream businesses. These usually relate to physical outdoor property related industries. They could be large agricultural areas, mobile network towers around the cities, large container ports and so on. There's a very vibrant business already in place where companies use drones every day to visualize and capture the footage with a drone. In this example story, a drone inspection service company has such services in place and they are running those services from many different companies. And this would be their central monitoring control system. You will see that some alarms pop up on the screen there and that's an example when a fault has been noticed. When the camera on the drone has identified an anomaly, perhaps from a weather storm, the drone has automatically sent a request to boost its uplink connection to get a higher resolution stream to the monitoring room. It can also alarm the human operator to take a closer look of that so that they can itself take a closer look of the anomaly. As everything seems to be okay, the operations can continue and there was no need to send a separate personnel on site to check the tower. Money, resources and time was saved. So that's the P2P drone use case situation. Now I said we are going to get into the three C's of the network as code paradigm. So let's begin with the capabilities and let's talk about what are these capabilities that are inherent within modern 5G era networks that if we expose them for application developers, they could onboard these capabilities onto their applications. You might ask, how does Network as Code enable software developers to enrich the experience of their downstream customers? We've broken this page down into two specific columns, the network-oriented capabilities on the left-hand side and the more device or user-based capabilities on the right. You'll also notice that we've flagged a few of these capabilities with a 5G indicator. What we mean by that is that there are some capabilities that really require 5G standalone network to work. You can also see that there are many capabilities inherent within today's networks that are actually accessible without 5G SA network and those do not have the 5G indicator next to them. The point is that there are many rich capabilities available in networks but those are not easily available for software developers since these are made available for the network engineers of network providers. What we are discussing here in the Network as Code paradigm is techniques to expose these kind of capabilities in a simplified fashion and make them available to third-party application developers. A drone demo I demonstrated a moment ago was one example of that. Based on that demo, I will walk you through some of the steps that were used to activate the network slices to attach drones to the slice-based services and then in runtime to create a quality of service on demand request to enable the higher resolution, higher bandwidth video stream from the drone to the monitoring room. So let's focus next on the second C, complexity, that exists within our networks today. As I mentioned, network as code Network as Code's primary purpose is to simplify that complexity and enable application developers to use these powerful capabilities within networks. So I'll show you this in two steps. First, this is Python programming code that is required for the application to create and provision the network slices. The con connectivity that will support the drone underneath that is simplified view though is much more complex. So this is 
an actual workflow necessary for the steps to orchestrate that slice what Networkers Code has done. And as you can see from top left corner here, the application has sent a slice request to the Networkers Code system. The system takes care of all these nested steps to create the slice. After all queries are sent, it returns the res slice response back to the application that the slice has been successfully provisioned to the network. You can see that there's a complex set of interactions with other downstream subsystems inside of the network environment just to create a new slice. And Network as Code has just helped us to simplify that complexity. If we take this discussion further, then the steps for 5G UE-based drone devices to be attached to the connectivity service are equally simplified, such as this piece of code here. But once again, there is an underlying very complex set of steps needed for the use case. The application si simply submits an attached request to the Networkers Code system. In turn, the Networkers Code system interfaces with other downstream subsystems, not found interfaces, such as the network exposure function to attach to the slice and return back the verification of successful attach. Once again, another very complex subroutine that has been simplified by network as code. And then in the drone case, case, we also talk about an application requesting a quality of service change during runtime. The drone is flying and connected to the network with low bandwidth and moderately priced subscription to do its standard video broadcasting. Based upon an incident happening, the software can trigger a quality of service change request, which the application triggers here on the upper left. Networkers Code receives that request and handles a very complex set of underlying steps necessary to make the QoS change on the fly. In fact, the routine goes this much deep deeper down into various different subsystems inside of the network in order to achieve quality of service chains on behalf of the drone in runtime. This is the kind of complexity that application developers who are non-network engineers are not willing to get involved with and should not how to get involved with. But by removing this complexity and simplifying that network as code system has become a resource to application developers to complete this complex process. Okay, now let's go on to the third C, meaning a commerce and monetization. Here you can see a very simplified way to look at the opportunity that the network as code solution presents to the network industry as well as the application industry. This screen shows two simple columns, B2C and B2B segments. You can see that the basic connectivity is pretty much the way that the network industry commercializes and monetizes services. It happens simply by offering a bandwidth connectivity with a best effort basis. As we look at the left side column here, when referring back to the capabilities we discussed earlier, we can see the network industry exposes this kind of capabilities, such as the QoS prioritization that we discussed in this drone example, and various additional capabilities that are deep within the networks. If these can be exposed and made available to application developers who are developing either consumer or business applications and can leverage those capabilities to enrich the experience of their customers, then there is an opportunity to monetize that functionality because it provides value to their customers. The Network as Code platform has the responsibility of the monetization of these services. So ability to charge for these additional value-based services and the ability to clear and settle revenue for the participants in the marketplace ecosystem. That is all the network as code can provide. So, as a summary, I provided a deeper dive into the three letter C's that are relevant to network as code. The capabilities that are inherent within these powerful 5G era networks, the complexity that exists within those networks and which network as code tries to simplify and ultimately the commerce and monetization opportunities which exist within this new marketplace paradigm. Thank you for your interest and hopefully this helped you to understand better what Network as Code is all about. Thanks.